All right, I'm heading to the new Tesla service center in Sterling, Virginia. Never been there before, and I'm doing that to correct the, the yellowing screen, as you can see. Here it is. They forgot to replace it when they did my infotainment MCU2 uh, from MCU1 upgrade, and it's obvious. So hopefully that'll be fixed today. Do you hear that? While I'm here for the screen placement, I'm also gonna have them look at the pump. When you're when it's pumping air in for the suspension, you know, I made a video about this crazy noise it was making. It's it's making a a different noise than it used to make for sure. That um, maybe it's on the way out. Who knows? We'll have them check it out and I'll let you know what they say. Let's see if we can hear it again. Yeah, I heard that. It's kind of hard to hear over the traffic, but I'm hearing something where I didn't used to hear anything. The air suspension. I don't know if they'll even have time to look at it. I sent them the video. Here we are at Sterling. All right, initially they said they were gonna give me a loaner vehicle, I'm sorry, uh, Uber credits, as they have done in the past, but I asked for a loaner vehicle, and they said they can get it for me. Hopefully, that'll be awesome. All right, so I got this Model S 75D, 35,000 miles on it. Very nice. And like just about all Teslas I've ever loaned recently, or had as loaners, it's locked in chill mode. Yeah, you can't get it out of chill mode. It's in chill mode. Grayed out. For the service appointment, they are charging a $95 diagnosis fee. Uh, I guess that's something that's standard now. It seems like last time I had to get something checked out, it was also $95. This car is so much lower to the ground than the Model X. It's hard to believe it's the same platform. It's so much... I mean, Model X already has a really low center of gravity, but this thing, just driving it again, uh, I've had Model S's in the past, it, it's, it's, the center of gravity is so low. See, this car was built in July 2018, so it's pretty new. And the one thing that's newer about this Model S compared to other ones I've had is a full glass roof. It's all the way across the top, no interruption. It's just like the Model Y. It looks like that way to me anyway. Yeah, you see it's just one big panel of glass all the way across. And also this one has the original seats in it. Like the, are these generation ones or something? I think, even though it's 2018, I didn't know that they kept having them available. But this is what I have in my car, so that you never usually get to see them because at least the front ones have covers on them all the time. And it's charging at a pretty high rate. I can't remember the last time I saw any kind of charge rate like that on my car. Let's we'll see if we can do autopilot. Uh, it won't let me do this one. It's, gr it's completely grayed out. Yeah, I thought traffic light and stop so sign control. I guess it's not ready for that, huh? Hmm. Or maybe I just need to connect to Wi-Fi. Maybe it won't let me connect to Wi-Fi. 
I think that's part of the problem. Wait there. We can connect. And you can see what well, this is at the full self-driving computer. And the infotainment processor. I noticed some wind noise on this driver's door. Hear that? Weird. You can better see the all glass roof here. Pretty cool. I wonder about getting sunburn though, over time. On a long car trip. The car thinks my groceries are a passenger in the back. All right, the car is ready today actually, and screens replaced, but they couldn't find any issues with the air suspension. Unfortunately, I think it's just kind of developing and I'm noticing it early and I hope it don't have a breakdown. We're going to Chicago soon, very soon actually, for a long trip. can't really listen to anything like I do in my car. There's no premium connectivity. I've grandfathered in with that. That goes away on the newer cars, and this is one of the ones that it goes away on. I guess when they got MCU2, it went away. So I'm one of the few ones with MCU2 and premium connectivity. Well, I don't have to pay for it anyway. I can, you can get it here, but it's at the pay, unfortunately. Wait, it works. I just have to connect to my Wi-Fi, that's all. Kind of just like I remember the standard audio which this has is just nowhere near as good as the premium audio. Got to get that in Model S. This is just not adequate. But standard audio seems to be fine in Model X. All right, we're back and it's hooked up to the charger, which is pretty cool. Wonder if people can use these when they're driving around as chargers, if they're available anyway. Somehow they managed to lock the key in the car and the doors are locked too, which is pretty cool. I gotta use my app to open it up. I can't do that. All right, the night drop box is up here. So I'm gonna drop off the key in the box. They've still got old school automotive legacy Dropbox options. Look at that. Don't you just love my handwriting? Here. 
doesn't want to stay. They had the keys in the glove box. Oh, they have to put that back on, just like they said. Oh, this is how they could do that. They took the battery out. Interesting. I guess that's the only way to do it. And that's the way you can do it for yourself. When I car camp, you know, I uh, wrap it in aluminum foil. But this is the other way to do it. I also forgot to take my autopilot buddy out, but they were kind enough to take it off and not leave it on the floor. That's cool. Check out the new screen. All white. None of that. Look, none of that yellowing on the edges. All white. Nice. Yeah. Just slid the protective cover over it. Now we're ready to head out. All right, great experience overall. Really, it's getting better and better since last year, especially at this new location with the new way of doing stuff and not these guys not being overwhelmed. Even better, yeah. Well, everything was done right, done on time. Didn't have to wait, got the loaner car, got a Tesla. No complaints, couldn't have been better. Just keeps getting better as I've said it before. I'm saying it again. I'm just excited. I'm happy. So comment below if you think Tesla service has gotten better. It's August 2020. I think last year around this time was the was the was the bad bad time, but it's it's on the way back.